tens of thousands of dollars stolen from the sick and the vulnerable. Police are searching for two men after ATM skimming devices were found at several New York City hospitals. As CBS 2's Andrea Grimes reports, there are dozens of victims. Shocked and stunned that it happened here. Claire Kelman couldn't believe it when she learned $400 were stolen last month from her bank account. She thinks someone swiped her PIN number here at the last place she expected the ATM inside Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center. And I was like, my money? Oh my gosh, I just got paid and I have my bills to pay. And here's someone just stealing my money. How is that even happening? It's unfortunate. A lot of people were victims of that, though. A lot of people. Kelman is not alone. Police say skimming devices were recently found on ATMs at four New York City hospitals Sloan Kettering and New York Presbyterian on the Upper East Side, Jamaica Hospital in Queens, and Methodist Hospital in Park Slope. The targets vulnerable patients, loved ones, and staffers. Everybody's in the sort of semi distress mode, you know, and in the meantime, you know, there's a, uh, you're not thinking about, you know, your money and your safety. Police say they are searching for 36 year old Atanas. Bogdan Valentin and this man seen in these two photos. They believe the two stole about $46,000 from 75 victims. Investigators think the skimming devices were installed between August 24th and November 1st of this year. Police say the two men then used the victim's personal information to make duplicate cards and ultimately unauthorized cash withdrawals. Experts say it's always a good idea to keep a close eye on your bank statements and when using any ATM, look at the card slot. If it looks like something doesn't fit or it's loose, it may have been compromised. On the Upper East Side, Andrea Grimes, CBS 2 News.